Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome to all of the practical app, object oriented programming. So, how are you guys? I hope you to stay safe and keep your mental health. Immediately to our practical app. Uh, in this occasion, in the first meeting, we gonna learn about introduction to Java and IDE. Before we go into the coding, uh, I'm gonna tell you what is the Java language. As a programming language, Java can be used to make any kind of application, desktop, web, and etc. Java is an object-oriented programming language that can be run in any kind of operating system platform. The development of Java is applied to all operating systems and it is also uh, open source. Okay, for the any detail, uh, for the details about the explanation and uh, the history of Java, you can read it in your detail that I have uh, shared to you in the group. Okay, and then now you have to install the IntelliJ idea. Uh, you can get it in your detail at the the tasks, uh, the instructions at the point one point four. There is the link to download the the apps. So if you have the download, uh, just open it. The fire, please. The fire, please. Okay. Uh, waiting for the loading. I'm gonna tell you what is IDA. IDA is integrated development environment. Okay. Uh, because of yeah. Mm, it's immediately open. Now we gonna make the new project. New project. Start and make sure that you choose the version Java of uh, here. If you uh, if this menu is doesn't appear to your choice, you can download the GDK from this and the interface will be direct you to the download link and it's immediately download by himself so you can wait and until it's downloaded completely and you can choose the open gdk uh, 15 java version can you choose it and you don't have to check any uh, money here because we don't we don't we don't use the groovy or curtain here because we're gonna use the Java and then she immediately click next and then don't forget to check here create project from the template and it will be automatically choose the command like up because it's the only one and then next uh, the project name you can uh, change it to the, the first uh, practice maybe Okay, so you don't mm, change this one. We're gonna use the default one and click finish. And okay, uh, the first interface will be shown like this, and just ignore about the notification here because it's just uh, an alert. Okay. As usual, uh, if you have learned, of course you have learned the C++ at your first semester at the basic programming, right? Uh, in this Java and the C++, maybe just mm, a little different. They have a similarity of the variables and I think the variables and let's see. The operation of all the programming language is same, just like C++. You can use it the operation like plus, star, uh, mi minus, 
and as a trial in any uh, programming language like a Python, C++, it's, uh, it's all same. Uh, and the variables also same, like integer, boolean, flow, double, inter uh, long, and etc. You have learned it in your basic programming, right? Uh, but in Java, if you wanted to uh, appear an output, mm. so his, I'm gonna show you. Okay. You can use this shortcut. So wait, wait, wait. You can use this shortcut. So and then press tab to uh, make a system out print that. So we gonna test the first things that um, programming. Interactions, uh, interaction uh, is how to write the hello world in any apps. Okay, nah. System of Prelan is the code for you to uh, to appear an output if you wanted to make to create um, text or any output in your output. So you can use system out print then. Uh, if the C++ you can use the C out right uh, and say in for the input and for the input I will tell you uh, later. And then um, there is two type uh, how to print your output. There is the first is print len, print len or just use the print okay we're gonna uh, find out what is the difference between print and the print like this mm, you can use control shift and f10 to run the code it's the shortcut or you can click here or you can right click here and run main uh, this is the shortcut Control save F10. Nah, the output will be appears uh, below your apps. It's like hello world, and there is the what we say is enter mm, new line, and then process finish with the exit code. It's like uh, the default. Ah, uh, I'm gonna tell you what is the difference between the print line and the print. <coughs> the print line, if you use the print line, there is the enter here. And if you just use the print, so you uh, the output will know will there's no enter after the output like this. Check, this, uh, pay attention to this. This is there is the uh, one enter and uh, if you just use the print code, there is no enter after the output hello world. Okay, yeah. Please don't be hesitate if you confuse or you have your, if, if you have any question, just tell me uh, privately or you can discuss in the group. Okay, and then this is, we, we have learned about how to make an output, and then I'm gonna show you how to declare a variable. Mm, so it's basically same like a C or the other uh, uh, programming language. You can, if you want to use the integer, you can use E N T and then uh, the, mm, the variable and what do you say? Like angka, angka is uh, the variable of integer. Then, if you want to fill the fill of the angka, you can also declare maybe like ten the fill of the angka. Okay. So we gonna uh, print out the angka's value in the output here. In the output here, okay. It's like uh, oops. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's number. Pardon me. We are in English. Okay. Sorry. Uh, the number value is oh sorry. Fellow is okay, plus number. 
Nah, number value is 10. We take the mm, variable here. The variable here. And its value is 10. So it will appear in the output. Okay, this is for the integer. And how if you want to make a string one? Don't forget, please be warned. If you want to declare the string, you have to write the S by capital. So it will be string like this. Because if you uh, just write string without the capital at S, it will not mm, appear in your program and it will error you can try so maybe it's like we're gonna use the for name variable and as usual if you want to make a swing one don't forget to the double you know, it? double card it's this one okay example is Poland oh my god I'm sorry Nah. Okay. My name is You're going to just write the name here. And run the program. Nah. It, uh, the output will be appear full and as the value of the name. Okay. And then we're gonna learn about. <laughs> we're gonna learn about the looping and the condition or the branch. Okay. We will use the for. For. I is equal to zero. Oh, sorry. Nah. And zero zero one. I is less than hundred. Okay. And so uh, now it's number Okay. How we run it? Please help me. Go to the Go to the Ah, wait a minute. Now, this one is the weakness if you don't use the print line because your output is gonna mm, see, horizontally appear. Now it's number one, zero numbers blah, 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 until the end. So, if you wanted to use it's the enter, so you can use the print line. So, after the output. Is appear it will be um, next to the next line let's show uh, let's find out what is different nah, like this so it will uh, will be more tidy it's a good looking right now it's number zero until number 99 be attention uh, be attention because I just used the less less than a hundred is not less and equals so if you use the less and equals the number will be appear until a hundred here because I just use this one less than without the equals so it will just appear 99 numbers okay um, and if and we will just some branch condition here if the yeah, uh, I 
Modulus by two. Yes. Ah, what's that? What's zero. Number. Odd number. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, it's an odd number. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Number. Nah, number. Blah 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 is. You can use also like two um like um two. How is it? If the C plus plus this plus is gonna change by like this, right? Nah. And if in Java you can just plus the variables and then plus again, and you can make another statement. Okay. We have learned about the for, uh, the looping, and the condition if, as uh, as you know, at the C, C language, the statement is same. For and then you enter the statement, and there is um, the bracket here, and then yes. Uh, what what are you gonna what you gonna out from the looping and you can add some condition at there okay and then we're gonna wait we gonna okay learn about hey we're gonna learn about the operation so example is a equals 15 and ENT B uh, is 13 Please, ada mana? So, Please help me uh, A plus B Please help me Yes Please help me Please help me A plus B Please help me Okay. Uh, use can use the double breaker. No, no, double elbow breaker. No, not elbow, but mm, yeah, double breaker here to make like a mathematical operation. So it will focus here to count a plus b and then mm, make an output a plus b equals to the a result of this um, result okay please help me a plus b is equal 28 yeah that's the simple right and then we gonna learn about how to make an how to make an input in Java. So basically, we have to import the scanner. Wait, why the scanner? <laughs> Sorry. Nah, don't forget to make sure the S is capital, yeah. Scanner. Java util. Nah. It will be it will be import automatically automatically from the Java util scanner. 
so it the code for you if you want to make an input uh, input uh, in on in your output okay scanner example uh, uh, input equals the new scanner okay system don't end okay example ENT A and so Brendan enter a and then Video, is the like uh, the code for you. Nice. So it will be nice. take the uh, put the fellow on the A fellow. Okay. And then see out again. We're gonna make out to enter the A B fellow. And then. Next, and I'll see A. Yes, yes, I will try. The L nah. Enter a fellow example three, four. Eight plus B is seven. Like this. Okay. Just that for the our meeting today. So if you have the kind of patience and if you uh, have an error in your uh, when you, when you try the code. Please tell me in the group or you can chat me privately. Don't be hesit hesitate to chat me, okay? Okay, thank you guys for your attention. Good luck in your life. Uh, and last, I say to you, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.